fun, free things to do in San Juan. I'm going to keep this introduction short because there are so many fun, free things to do in San Juan. I do not want to waste any of your time. But let's just say when we left Utah to go to old San, to go to Puerto Rico, we were uh, in the snow. So going to Puerto Rico is absolutely amazing. Are you ready to have fun? Let's get started. Okay, the first and probably most famous is El Castillo San Cristobal y El Morro. Uh, both of these are, if you have a National Parks Pass, these are free to get into, or they're $5. If you don't want to spend the money, let's say if you're like, oh, I don't really want to go into these awesome, really cool castles because I'm saving money, still go to El Morro at least because it has this amazing landscape where it's like 74 acres of this green knoll and locals come and they fly kites. You could bring a kite, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's probably one of the most stunning things I've ever seen is the look of hundreds of kites in the air with the backdrop of the ocean, um, the old San Juan Cemetery right next to it. Definitely worth seeing. If you do wanna spend the money and go inside the forts or if you have a national park pass, go check that out as well. Definitely worth it. There is also the Plaza de Armas, one of the main hubs in Old San Juan. This plaza has a beautiful fountain, lots of benches just to chill and relax on after walking for miles, and the pigeons that will fearlessly walk around your feet. A lot of popular cafes are in this area and shops within a block or two of this plaza. There's also really cool art galleries you can walk into, which is a great fun free thing to do. There's also the Cathedral de San Juan Bautista, only a couple blocks from Plaza de Armas, this historical cathedral leaves its doors open for people just to wander through. The high ceilings are in intricately painted and there are a few open spaces on either side of the pews, most of which contain tidbits of history about San Juan and the cathedral itself. There are also beautifully colored stained glass and several ornate statues. It is recommended that you put a dollar in the no do donation box if you visit, but again, not required. When you're in that area, you can go to La Calle de Cristo, uh, which is this interesting building, but right next to it is actually my favorite part. It's a pigeon park. <laughs> it's a park dedicated to pigeons. They have like holes where the pigeons go in. Uh, you can feed them. If you have kids or are a kid at heart, you will love this. It's a highly unique location uh, right next to Calle de Cristo, which is also worth seeing. So much to see here. In this area, there's also a lot of um, art museums and like historical museums. El Museo de Arte de San Juan is gratis y divertido, free and fun. Um, also, uh, when you're kind of still in that museum mode, you can go to Casa Blanca. It's built for Ponce, it was built for Ponce de Leon. It's now a museum for mid 16th century life. We had a woman actually give us a 20 minute presentation on the history of San Juan and the role women played in the shaping of its history. This is free, uh, really cool to see this live reenactment of some of the things that went on there. The number one place I would recommend finishing your day or at least seeing the sunset would be Paseo de la Princesa. It's a large fountain which local and a street with local vendors up and down the street. We got there right near sunset and as we were looking at the ocean, a cargo ship was going by and literally we saw dolphins playing in this wake of a cargo ship. Oh, there was live music, so my husband and I attempted to dance a little ridiculously, but still fun. Truly, truly a magical location to see as the sun goes down. <laughs> If you are wondering about transportation, I would not recommend having a car in, in San Juan at least. They do have a free trolley service. There is a free trolley service that runs continuously around Old San Juan to take people around the city. Also, it's very walker friendly, lots of benches when you get tired, shady places to sit down, um, driving a little, a little crazy and parking hide, hard to find. So again, I would just recommend making this a car free day and just enjoy going around. By, by feet or by bike. And this is just a personal note I'm going to add. Technically, in, in Puerto Rico, they speak Spanish. So when you go there, even if it's an American territory, please don't expect everyone to go to, to speak English because some of them don't or some of them don't want to and they shouldn't have to. 
Oh, I'm getting a little political. That's dangerous. Well, it, there it goes anyway. Even if you just have rudimentary Spanish skills, at least try your best to say hola, como esta? I know my husband and myself, we do speak Spanish and Portuguese. Um, so going there, we spoke Spanish with a lady at a restaurant and she said, oh my, she paused us and she was like, oh my gosh, I have worked here for three and a half years with tourists. You are the first people to speak Spanish to me. And she was very, very grateful. Um, that's a little soapbox. But so again, well, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Of course, the more subscribers we get, the more likes, the more videos we can make, the more fun it is for everyone. Thank you for watching our adventure. Now go out there and make your own and tell me all about it.